joys of having dogs. How dare they put paper tags on our toys. No paper tags. Bitch, I can't guess that reference. Words are different, but it's from a movie. Over the mountain and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. <laughs> Whoa! It's like I was on a roller coaster. Um, we are all dollied up. Look at us, we're almost matching. <coughs> we are on our way on our way to uh, Marcus's parents' house for well, this will be lunch for me. Uh, yeah. Welcome back to my crazy. <laughs> I didn't have anything else to offer other than I wanted to come in and say hello. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'll come back later. You two is going to get me. I'm driving home for Christmas. Yeah. And moving on my life. Okay, I'm gonna go before they get me off. <laughs> Marcus, say hello to the peeps. Say hello to my YouTube. It's my new family. Ich habe meine so, ich habe meine Moment, ich komme. So Marcus is always talking about how why he needs to go on vacation. So there's a magazine here at his parents' house about vacations. It's titled Urlaub, which is vac vacation. And in here he finds, Das Leben ist wie ein Buch und wer nicht reist, liest nur ein wenig davon. This says, um, life is like a book and those that don't go on vacation don't read very much from it. Yeah, so mother-in-law did very good but I'm super full now oh. and I don't even have pants on to uh, loosen up <laughs> they're having a serious conversation over uh, cruise boats hey y'all <laughs> Father, son, talk. There's no such thing as being full here. <clears throat> I'm dying. Mmm, Marcus. Mmm. 
Ach, er macht das auch ohne, dass er irgendwas runterschmeißt oder so. Ich bin vorsichtig. Wenn die Kim, mittlerweile hat sie ja gelernt, aber früher ist das. So, I wanted to show you this earlier before we left, but I ran out of time. I was going to show you all my Christmas outfit. Unfortunately, the boots are off. <laughs> so you get these shoes. But this was my Christmas dress. And let me show you how close Marcus and I... Marcus, where are you? Yeah. Come here. Show them how we were almost matching. Come here. <laughs> they can't see it like that. You're such a nut. There he is. <laughs> oh, let me come a little closer. Look at the pattern. And the, you know what's cool about this dress? It has pockets. I love that it has pockets. And it's very comfortable. Anyhow, I wanted to show you all my Christmas outfit for today. Hey. So, it's Christmas evening here in Deutschland. I'm taking my makeup off. Um, we're gonna finish. <laughs> I'm too embarrassed to tell y'all what we're gonna finish. We are going to finish our gingerbread house and gingerbread train, but that's okay. It's a Christmas activity. <laughs> um, I don't really have very much activity going on today. We got up and uh, went to Marcus's parents' house for lunch slash dinner. Let me tell you why it's lunch slash dinner. <sighs> she was feeding us so much food and she wasn't taking no for an answer. So, now, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. She did very well for me. And she pointed out, which, hey, she did all the work, she can point it out. It was just me and her and Marcus and his dad, because his brother and his family will go tomorrow, because in Germany they celebrate Christmas two and a half days. Um, so it was just us there today and all four of us had different food that she prepared because everybody eats special <laughs> but uh for me she did very well she had some vegan uh patties that i could eat and she made me she made potato salad and before she put the final, you know, she didn't put eggs and she didn't put the salmon. And before she put like the cream stuff mixture that she put in it, she put mine aside. So she did everything else. And then I kind of put my own together, which I'm going to have to tell you all about. That was delicioso. So I forgot to buy me something yesterday when we were in the stores for my potato salad. And I knew I was running really low on my mayonnaise. And it wasn't really enough for potatoes out. It just wasn't, which I need to order some more. If y'all have not tried the Hellman's vegan mayonnaise, that stuff tastes just like regular mayonnaise. It's so good. And we don't have anything like that here in Germany. So what I did was I took a little bit of mayonnaise, my Hellman's mayonnaise, and I have some vegan sour cream. So I put some Hellman's mayonnaise, vegan sour cream, um, some Dijon mustard, a little bit of red wine vinaigrette, salt and pepper, just a dash of um, sugar, and was that it? That might have been it. And I mixed that. It was darn tasty. I was very surprised myself. And then when I took it and mixed it in with uh, her potato salad, it tasted, for me, just like I was eating her normal potato salad. <laughs> It was very, very good. Um, but anyhow, so I had steamed broccoli. She made steamed broccoli and had like hollandaise sauce on it. My makeup wipes are drying out. I think I left them open and so, <laughs> I'm gonna have to actually wash my face. No. <laughs> um, 
These are drying out. I think I have another pack though. Um, what was I saying? Anyways, we were, I don't know, we had different food. So anyhow, we were eating our main menu and so we ate that. Um, oh yeah, so she made like a holiday sauce to put on the broccoli. I don't really know what it was. It was some kind of yellow sauce, but mine was just plain steamed broccoli. And then we had the potato salad and then she made like this um, chestnut, ooh, very good, chestnut mushroom mixture. And she made mine separate before she put the cream in it. So mine was just the like made with vegetable um, broth and then the chestnuts and the mu mushrooms and whatever else seasoning she put in it. But for theirs, the final thing that she put in was like a cream sauce. Anyhow, good, yum, mmm, good. So I got super, super full on that, like way full, cause I ate, I just kept eating. And my excuse for keep eat, to keep eating was, okay, so I had my own potato salad and so then I had eaten and eaten and eaten. And then I saw, oh, there's only a little bit left. That's not enough to take home. I might as well finish it. Okay. Greed to the 10th power. But anyhow, so I didn't let it go to waste. Could have brought it home, taken it for lunch tomorrow, but I didn't. Anyhow, so then when dinner was over, what did we do after dinner? Dinner was over. She still kept, you know, trying to force drinks down our throats. And then after that, she brings out cookies. She brings out some cookies because she, you know, she bakes a lot of cookies. So did I. Anyhow, so she brought out a whole bunch of cookies. So we're eating cookies and cookies and cookies. And then she asked everybody, did they want ice cream? Thank goodness I'm vegan. So I didn't have to take the ice cream. Everybody else was eating ice cream. So then after the ice cream, oh, do you want some more wine? Yes, I'll take some more wine. Okay, do you want a cappuccino? No, Marcus, she can't drink a cappuccino. So then after that, you know, we're sitting around. I'm fighting to stay awake because I'm so full. Sorry, there's something on my phone. And I just dropped off. Okay, anyhow. Um, sorry. Okay, so then uh, she brings out cake. Cake and coffee. And another big old plate of cookies, different assorted of cookies. And I was like, oh, I can't, I can't eat anymore. So, you know, then we got to go back to the table because, you know, now she's serving cake and coffee. Oh, so I didn't have to eat cake because uh, I can't eat that cake. So she put like three cookies on my plate. I ate half of one. And then she was like, you're not eating your cookies. I said, I can't. <laughs> I can't get anything else in. I'm trying to finish my coffee. <laughs> so when we finally got ready to leave there, both of us were so full and I'm walking to the car and I was like, I can't even breathe. It's like, I need to breathe, but it hurts. I wanted to cut my stomach off. Oh, I'm so full. Okay, I'm gonna be right back because I gotta find some milk. All right, this one's pretty dry too, but. I think I'm just gonna end up washing my face. These makeup wipes are too dry. Anyhow, leave a comment and tell me how your Christmas day was. And uh, you know, if you spent it alone, what did you do alone? If you went to family or family came and visited you or what was your most exciting gift or what was your most exciting thing about the day? Let me think. What was my most exciting thing about today? Um, oh, to go over to Marcus's parents' house. I like being with family, regardless of what kind of family or how big that family is. Christmas to me is about family. So, it was nice. Um, we're gonna go finish decorating our houses that we started putting together and then uh, back to normal life.
work tomorrow. Yay, I'm so excited. Actually, what I am excited about is tomorrow is still a German holiday. So I'll have the roads to myself tomorrow and that's gonna be fantabulous. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna bore y'all anymore. This has been about eight, nine minutes of sure boredom for y'all. Maybe y'all fast forwarded through. Hey, I'm just chit chatting with my girls or if there's a guy watching with my friends, whatever. Um, actually, my most exciting thing about today was that we left home and came back and there was no mess. There was no chewed up anything. All the doors were locked so nobody could go get into something they didn't need to get into. Um, I will say that Sam is still not feeling good. I can tell. So he's either still feeling a little mm, from yesterday's, you know, indulge or he's a little sad because Mama was not happy with him yesterday. <laughs> not at all. And he knew it. And he's super sensitive anyway. So if he gets yelled at, he's almost a suicidal dog. So he and he's super sensitive, super sensitive. You can't, you can't yell at him. Because <sighs> then after that, he needs antidepressants. So he's either super depressed from yesterday or he's still not feeling good. I'm thinking he's probably still not feeling good because um, he ate a lot. He ate a lot, and especially for a dog. He ate a lot. That little booger. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I may come back and show y'all our gingerbread creations, um, depending on just how embarrassing they will be. We'll see. All right. Talk to y'all Look at us doing a gingerbread house. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Gingerbread train. Gingerbread train. It's super messy and my hands feel disgusting, but it's coming somewhere. Chuka 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 Here's our gingerbread train. <laughs> oh, a Lebkuchen train. So my recommendations for a team building event, pick something else. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can get the other side. Okay, there we go. There's the other side. Marcus did this side. And I did this. Okay. Next, we have to do our house. Oh, what artistry. And here's our gingerbread house. Here's our gingerbread house. Again. Yeah. The fine artistry. You just, it's priceless. Sam is getting to use one of his Christmas presents, which is a cherry corn pillow. You warm it up in the microwave and then rub it on his um, back and joints. And it's supposed to help him feel a little better. So he just got a massage with his warmed up cherry corn, uh, cherry corn or cherry seeds. And now he's just relaxing with the warmth on. <sighs> the life of a dog. I know what I'm coming back as. Look at this dog. <sighs> he doesn't even know he's a dog. <laughs> oh, people, people, people. Gotta love them. Got to love them. All right. 
I'm going to go ahead and close out Vlogmas Day 25, Christmas Day. I'm going to go ahead and close this vlog out um, and just kind of chillax for the rest of the evening. You were with us at the in-laws house today and tomorrow is back to work, back to normal life. For me anyways, not for the rest of the Germans. They still have one more holiday. Yay. <laughs> I'm not hating at all. I'm not hating at all. Anywho, I hope that you guys are enjoying your Christmas, your family time, or whatever you're celebrating or doing for today. And I hope that everybody um, got plenty to eat or, you know, for whatever they wished for. Whatever you've prayed for, I wish and hope that you got everything that uh, was coming to you. Uh, I had a very good Christmas. I had a good Christmas Eve yesterday. And I had a very enjoyable Christmas day today. Aside from the fact that my stomach feels like it's about to explode. But that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. And I wish you a Merry Christmas night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Oh,